Good afternoon, Steve. PJ Kaufman, Boise, Idaho, Nelson's RVs. So I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of the 202 first, and then I will get you the 179 as well. So this one will be the thorough one, and then I'll show you some different interiors as well. So pleasure to meet you. Thank you for your time, and we'll start out here with the front of the unit. And the sun is brightly shining, so I'll do my best here on my camera. So first thing you're going to have here is your front with your A-frame and then obviously your two propane tanks that we were talking about discussing. You do have your 215 pounds, so 30 gallons of propane on there, seven and a half gallon tanks. You have the Rhino lining on the Western Edition that goes up a little bit higher on this one. Excuse me, not the Rhino lining, but the diamond plate right there. So any rocks hit that, it's not gonna chip it, damage it. You have your battery rack right there, which again, what we're gonna do is give you a battery for free on this guy and they'll give you a container to put it in right there. And then you have your pass-through exterior storage compartments. That one's locked, so I'm gonna walk around this way. You have a complete pass-through storage compartment, and it's dark over there, but that is entirely pass-through. So all of your lights here on the exterior, you have a hookup light right there, and then also on the front, you have a hookup light as well. Well, just kidding, you don't on this one, Steve, sorry. You have your light right there for putting stuff in for storage at night. So, self-draining windows on these guys. You have those guys right there, so no condensation, no freezing on those windows. Your awning right there is almost the entire length, not quite the entire length of the 202, but it is electrical, and it does have the LED lighting under it, and then you have the marine grade speakers on the exterior out there as well. And then I'm gonna go back to your awning right here. This is hard for me to show you this while I'm doing video by myself. But what happens is I have this little button right here and then all these little click levels. So I can move this up about six levels right there. So it's gonna come down either angled that way or that way if you have rain. So you're not gonna get rain that's gonna build up on there. So, okay, over here we have that correct track that I was talking about. So, I mean, the sway control, the, the weight distribution hitch, we can do all that stuff, but this is gonna tow a lot better than most of the products out there because they spread the axles a little bit more, making it a lot more stable. So, one step entry right there. Um, I usually tell people to add the third step on that or two steps. It's a little bit higher for your clearance as you can see there. So, not too bad, but as people get a little bit older, it's easier to step up on a second step instead of the one step. So. Not inside yet, we're gonna keep going around here. You have your water heater right there, six gallon water heater. You also have self-draining, or excuse me, you have the gutters up there on the side and then you have the spigots right there. You can see it kind of closer right there. So water's gonna drip down a few inches off of the coach and not down the coach to put side marks all over it. So that's your furnace exhaust right there, all of your rear lights on it. You have a spare tire right there. It's very accessible to take that tire and loosen up the bolts on it and slide it over on the back bumper if you want to and then you can put a bike rack on there or something so here's the big rear window i love the rear window it's nice for viewing purposes when traveling back up to a lake you can see really nice out of that back one so uh, more storage on the back here so the one thing the 202 definitely doesn't lack on here is exterior storage you have tons of exterior storage satellite prep right there so pulling up at your local rv station if they have cable or you want to put satellite you can do that on here as well your clips here to hold the doors up fridge exhaust power cord one of the longest power cords on the market 30 feet so longer than most of them they're going to be about 25 feet city water connection fresh water connection your valves right there and your dump so emptying your tanks are going to be right there utility shower and then you have the black tank flush which was a sandy flush that i was telling you about so flushing out your black tank just put a hose up to it and run it and kick all that stuff out there so here's your specs on this guy your gvwr is 6500 pounds that's gross so again you know you're never going to tow it at that that's just your total weight and your cargo capacity is 21 so again you're going to be at that 4300 pounds of total weight dry all right go around the back here go inside and the first thing we're going to talk about obviously that we told you with this is that dynaspan flooring 5 8 inch thick deck it's very solid it's a lot better floor than a lot of the competitors out there it's designed to last you a lot longer queen bed walk around so the 202 and i know that this was important to you guys you actually get a full walk around on this 202 
instead of the 179. So, and also if you want to put an upgraded mattress in here, you can do that. You have the space to do that, which is usually the case with these. Most of these RVs don't put the best of mattresses in there, so I tell people to upgrade on them. So, um, a nice feature about this model is you do have a lot of storage. His and her closet space, storage up top there, reading lights up there. And then you have um, storage under the bed as well. So I'll lift that up and show you underneath there. Pretty good sized storage. And then you have a nicer wood. It's not little chipboard, it's not little Luan board. It's a little bit thicker of an actual piece of solid wood there. So designed again, a little bit better. Let me close that down. Light control switches right here. Control most of the lights throughout the coach. You have kitchen space right here. Again, you have the three burners and the 22 inch oven. You have a control panel right here as far as your awning, it's electrical in and out. And then you have gas and electric pump control right there. And then all of your tank sizes right there. So bathroom, you go to a porcelain bowl instead of plastic and it's step flush. But the porcelain bowl, what makes that different and what makes it stand out compared to a plastic bowl is it's not absorbent it's not porous so it's not going to hold stains it's not going to hold odors porcelain's a lot easier to keep clean bathroom sink medicine cabinet right there medicine chest shower and tub and then a skylight right there and on the back of this one the u-shaped dinette right there and then also on this one that a lot of them don't have is you're going to have a little bit more cabinet space so closet space and then six cubic foot reefer so you have lcd tv mounting bracket locations they don't come with tvs you have all of your dvd blu-ray and all that good stuff right there and then all of your wiring for tv right there and then that's where you would mount your tv so stainless steel microwave over the hood range and again the 22 inch oven drawer space counter sp or cabinet space so that will do it on the 202. This one is going to be the sandstone interior, which is kind of a fall looking leafy fall colors. So that is a 202 and that is the sandstone interior. So next stop will be the 179. And now that I've given you the exterior and all the interior as far as the cabinets and stuff, I'm just gonna go through and shoot the rest of the interiors and then I'll do the 179 a little more thorough for you. Okay, thanks Steve, we'll talk to you soon.